Hello everyone, Vasilius here, just jumping on real quick before Father John to let you know about two discussion groups, two adult discussion groups that the St. John of Damascus Orthodox Educational Initiative is offering. One of them is a continuing discussion group, and the other one you have to, you, this is your last chance to register because it starts this Sunday, October 16th. Okay, so the first one is the Initiative Book Club. Okay, so this has been long running, it's been running for years. And it is what it is. It is, what, as the name suggests, it is a book club. Um, currently, the uh, Father John, who is the moderator, with a group of people uh, are going through uh, St. Paul's epistles and will move on to the Catholic epistles in the New Testament, just going through and discussing them. And then they're going to reach the, the book of Revelation. But um, here's the official description from the website. To be an Orthodox Christian is to understand that our faith is not restricted to a set of rules or books or even ideas. Our faith is a living faith, one that is brought to life by our actions in the world. It follows then that we must understand what it means to truly be living the faith. It is this goal that this book club, moderated by our headmaster, Father John Summers, works toward achieving. In this book club, we read various works of spiritual literature and discuss how we can practically apply the words of the enlightened evangelist, apostles, and even uh, and other fathers to our daily lives. Past works have included works by Saint Ephraim the Syrian, Saint Athanasius the Great, Saint Cyril of Alexandria, Saint Nectarius of Antopolis, Archbishop of Erkitaushev, and Saint Ignatius Brian Briancianina. I have so much problem. Pro, I, have, I have so many problems pronouncing that last name. Forgive me, Saint Ignatius Briancianina. Currently, the book club is making its way through the epistles of St. Paul. Join us, engage in some Orthodox fellowship, and God willing, help your faith come alive. It's $65 a month. All proceeds benefit the, the, the initiative scholarship fund. It's on Wednesdays and Fridays, 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. Um, and to register, uh, email orthodoxeducationalinitiative at gmail.com, orthodoxeducationalinitiative at gmail.com. Or call the initiative phone number 215-987-2655, 215-987-2655, okay? And uh, financial aid is available for that. Um, and the second one that you have to jump to register because it starts this Sunday, October 16th, is the Apologetics for Adults Discussion Group, The Orthodox Understanding of God and Man. And again, this description is from the website. What is apologetics? Simply put, Apologetics seeks to provide a systematic defense of Orthodox theology. In our times, in the midst of so many assaults against the Church, we can see how a firm grounding in Orthodox apologetic theology is so important. Our flock needs to know the doctrines of our faith, yet we need more than this. We need to foster an Orthodox worldview. We need to equip ourselves with the ability to defend the faith, to not be intimidated in the face of what St. Paul calls knowledge falsely so-called in 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy. Are you a parent struggling to answer your child's questions about the faith? Perhaps you're a college student finding yourself unable to respond to professors' and peers' critiques of religion. Or maybe you're an adult who simply never had those persistent questions about orthodoxy answered. Or perhaps, if I might add, you're an adult who don't know what the questions are yet. You just want to find out what the good questions are so that you're prepared when you need to answer them. Okay. In the first six-week module, uh, we'll be discussing the following subject. By we, I mean Father John and the group. Introduction to apologetics and the orthodox understanding of knowledge. A defense of the existence of God. A defense of the existence of the soul and free will. And orthodox responses to Marx, Freud, and Darwin. Subsequent, subsequent modules will address Roman Catholicism, Protestantism, Judaism, and other topics. The moderator is Father John Summers. It starts uh, the 16th. Uh, it's six week, The first module is six weeks long. Uh, it's on Sundays at 7. That's 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And it runs for six weeks, like uh, the first module runs for six weeks. And then it uh, the price is $125 per household. So, okay, so this isn't per person. It's per household. So a couple can take it together. A, uh, they, you can take it with your uh, parents. You can take it with your uh, high school and uh, older aged children. Um, it's per household. And all the proceeds benefit the scholarship fund as well. And to register for this discussion group, go to orthodoxlearninggoc.com and click register. Orthodoxlearninggoc.com and click register. And financial aid is available for this one as well. 
if necessary. That's it for me. I'm going to hand it over to Father John. Thank you. The St. John of Damascus Orthodox Educational Initiative presents the Damascene Podcast. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Some medicine from St. John of Kronstadt. Quote, All prayers assume the great poverty and misery of our fallen nature. They also assume that the Lord is the ever-flowing source of every perfection, every blessing. That He is our inexhaustible treasury. Truly, We must have poverty of spirit during prayer and at all times. Blessed are the poor in spirit. St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. It's from St. John of Kronstadt, My Life in Christ, page 206. An ailment. When we consider how many things we do wrong, how many passions we have, we may be tempted to anxiety or despair. Yet, let's consider what St. John says. That is to say, let's take the medicine that he offers. We must have poverty of spirit during prayer and at all times. Blessed are the poor in spirit. When we come to recognize our sins, we have choices. We can choose anxiety and despair. We can choose to rebel, to trample down our conscience and to justify ourselves. Or... We can choose to recognize our poverty and to approach the King of all with a broken and contrite spirit. When we choose poverty of spirit rather than pride or despair and turn to God in prayer, we acquire the kingdom of heaven from our Savior. Just as St. John says, for he is the source of every perfection and every blessing. Amen. I have showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak, and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts chapter 20, verse 35. To donate to the initiative, please visit orthodoxlearninggoc.com slash donate. May God bless you.